Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 15th of 2023 well, it is titled a triply glowing night sky over Iceland. So what do we see here? Well, here we see uh, the sky over Iceland and we can see various different things glowing in the sky. Now let's start on the left hand side and we see the greenish glow of the Aurora. Now we often see the Aurora in images and the aurora occurs when charged particles and that would be generally electrons and protons from the sun particles that are expelled in the solar wind as well as in solar flares and coronal mass ejections travel toward earth and are deflected by the magnetic field toward the north and south magnetic poles of earth when they strike Earth's atmosphere, they excite the atoms within the uh, upper atmosphere and give off a distinct glow. And the glow of the oxygen atoms gives off a greenish glow that we associate with the aurora. So the aurora that we see off to the left there, that green glow of oxygen atoms high up in Earth's atmosphere. Now on the other side, we see a man-made feature, and that would be the geothermal power plant off to the right hand side and we see the venting steam in the bright white columns going up off to the off to the right hand side of the image. Now in the middle we see a reddish glow. Now the red glow is due to a volcano a volcanically active uh, island. I, I, Iceland is extremely volcanically active, active because of its location. And what we see here is the hot gas rising from that volcano. And we see that in orange at the center. Now two of these do tie into the activity here on Earth and specifically the region around Iceland. Iceland is actually located on the mid Atlantic Ridge, which is where the ocean floor is spreading apart. So that areas around North America and Europe are slowly spreading apart by a few centimeters every year. And the same with uh, southern areas, which would be Africa and South America. So the Atlantic Ocean is slowly widening by a certainly by a measurable amount that can be determined. And that is gives it rise to the volcanic activity which occurs at these various breaks between plates on Earth's surface. So we see a lot of volcanic activity here and all the way down the middle of the Atlantic where the seafloor is spreading apart. Because it is so active, we also get the geothermal activity associated with that is you allow, allows the powering of the power plant off to the right hand side. And in a way, the aurora are also a tied into the interior of the Earth because they are shaped by Earth's magnetic field. Our magnetic fields funnels those particles in toward the north and south magnetic poles. And that is produced by currents deep within the Earth, deep within the hot core of the Earth. So in a way, we see a little bit of each of these uh, that are caused by Earth to very definitely only Earth. The other also involves particles from our sun as well. And of course, two of them natural phenomena, that would be the aurora and of course, the emission from the volcano as well as the man made emissions from the power plant off to the right. So that was our picture of the day for August 15th of 2023. It was titled a triply glowing night sky over Iceland. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a cosmic embrace. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.